Just take a look at this Radiator Charlie's Mortgage Lifter. It's a heck of a name for a tomato, isn't it? This thing is an old fashioned variety that was developed in the 1930s. Uh, the reason it got its name is that uh, Charlie was able to pay off the mortgage on his radiator shop, uh, $6,000 back in those days, and he sold the little seedlings for a dollar a piece. It's indeterminate, meaning that it will grow and grow and grow and grow as a vine. And you can see these are towering almost five, maybe six feet tall. What's wonderful about this is that they claim that the mortgage lifter tomato can be one to three pounds. Now we're not gonna get anywhere that size in this garden this year, but get something to aspire to next year. These plants will produce fruit in about 80 days. Now take a look at these. These are celebrities. These are a modern hybrid, if you will. Um, they produce a lot more fruit. Uh, they're very disease resistant and they begin producing in about 65 to 70 days. It is a determinate variety, meaning that it will only grow to a certain height, about three feet. And the fruit is consistently round and smooth. It's your classic tomato. It's a great tomato for canning. And you better believe I'm gonna make a lot of tomato juice and soup mix to can to put away for the winter. This time of year, it's really hot, but the tomatoes love it as you can see here. Now that doesn't mean there's no reason to get out there and start a fall crop. Certainly I plant these tomatoes as early as I can. I want the soil to be warm. But in the late summer, in August, I begin planting a second crop. And by October and early November, I'm bringing green tomatoes in which will ripen indoors and I can have tomatoes in early fall. So if the summer rolls around and you hadn't gotten your tomatoes in the ground, don't give up get them planted so you can have some a little later in the season.